Hey guys, it's your girl Queen Bree, and welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I have some shopping to do, and unfortunately not for myself, but Aiden's birthday is in a few days, and I have some last minute gift shopping to do. And I usually don't like to go shopping alone, how boring, but instead of dragging one of my friends, today I'm dragging you guys, and let's be real, I truly consider you guys my besties. So, this should be fun. If this is your first time on my channel... If this is the first video that you're watching from me, please hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So guys, I know you can see I got a new do and I just woke up so I'm looking a little bit crazy but the vibe I was going for was Sierra vibes. I love me some CC. I know I'm looking crazy and rough right now but hopefully when I'm done with my makeup and I'm done styling my hair, it gives what it's supposed to give which is CC. Before continuing with today's video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Dossier. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. Guys, Dossier produces replicas of high-end luxury brand fragrances for just a fraction of the price. In today's video, I have this one, which I'm not even going to try to say the name because I'm going to butcher it, but I'll put it on the screen. But this is a replica of Tom Ford's Oud Wood, and the retail price for that is $250, and this was just $39. And when I tell you the scent is literally identical, I promise you. I definitely suggest you guys go check them out. They have tons of fragrances to choose from. This is great for gifting. They are unisex, so there's fragrances for both men and women. I own so many, so I know, guys, take it from me. If you're trying to save some money and you still want good quality, go check them out. So, of course, I'm going to start off by putting on my headband bow. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. If you didn't watch my Amazon video, go watch that video, and you can definitely find the link to purchase these. So, yeah, pink because pink. You know, I like to match. Boom. How adorable is this, guys? I love my headband bows. They are so cute. So for my makeup today, guys, I'm not really going to be going step-by-step step in detail on what I'm doing because I really want to film an updated makeup routine for you guys, and I want to leave that for that. So just sit back and relax and watch the transformation. Okay guys, this is the final look. Um, I cannot wait to give you guys my updated makeup routine, but until then, let's keep going. Now it's time to move on to this hair. And let me tell you, I am not exactly sure how I'm gonna be styling it. I know I kinda want that like wavy, beach, messy look. Um, not sure how I'm gonna achieve that, but we are going to try. Let's get started. Fun fact guys, like, Last night, I didn't sleep with anything on my head. I know you're supposed to tie your head at night when you're wearing a wig, and I didn't do that. Sometimes I forget, and I really be thinking that this is my real hair. So, yeah, I'm surprised that it's still intact and looking how it's looking because I'm a crazy sleeper, but. So I think I'm just gonna start off by putting it into sections. I'm gonna start with the bottom half. I think I'm gonna use my wand curler and basically just do some like messy waves, but you leave the bottom piece out, I'm pretty sure, so that it gives you like this messy look. Yes, like that. I'm pretty sure when I finish my whole head, and I just leave the bottom straight. It's gonna give such a cute, messy beach wave kind of look. Let's see.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole head and I'll catch you when I'm done. Boom. How do you guys think I did? I think this is the exact look I was going for, the kind of messy, beachy curls. Um, I just used that technique where you curl at the top and leave the bottom straight, as you saw. And I'm pretty happy with this result. I didn't want to curl it too tight because the hair is already short and it would have made it shorter. But how do you guys feel now? Is this giving CC or not? Comment down below. Now that my glam is done, I'm gonna go change my outfit and get ready to leave the house. And I'll see you guys in the car. Okay, so this is your girl's whip for today. Okay, you see me. Okay, so basically guys, my car has been giving me some trouble. I needed an oil change, I needed a battery. So I had to go drop it off to get fixed. And my mechanic actually owns a luxury car rental service. So he gave me this baby in the meantime. So yeah, I've been feeling extra cool riding around with the top off, but fun fact, as soon as I got in this car, it literally started to rain. I can't really put the top down now, which sucks. But yeah, if you guys are ever in Miami and you wanna rent a nice car, go check him out. Wow, I'm super bummed. I can't believe it started raining. Like, I could not wait to get in the car and drop the top for you guys. I didn't get to show you guys my new nails. They're matte. I never get matte, but I absolutely love these. Wow, guys, I swear Florida is so bipolar. The rain stopped, so now we can ride in style. Now it's time to go to the mall. Okay, guys, this is not as fun as I thought. Okay, yeah, that was not the smartest idea, and that was not too fun. My hair was getting stuck to my lipstick. My eyelash was getting caught in my hair. It was barely hanging on. So, yeah, no more trying to be cool. Hey guys, I just got to the mall, but I'm just taking a little five minutes to myself in the car with the AC blasting because it's so freaking hot today in Florida. Look at these jeans. <laughs> There's literally a big hole that my whole entire leg is sticking out. How funny. Also, I have a question. Do you see how I'm sitting? So I tend to drive like this with my leg up. I know it doesn't sound safe, but am I the only girl who does that or are there other girls who do that? It's just literally so comfortable to me. Look at my leg right here. Like, I don't know. Am I the only one that drives like this? Comment down below. Okay, so the sneaker store behind me is called Rare and they always have the cutest shoes and like the latest shoes. So I'm gonna go in and see if I can find some cute sneaks for Aiden. Ooh. So I really wanted to get these, but they don't have this size, and these, they don't have this size, so yeah, I'm not too happy about that. They have this size in these, which are super cute, so we're gonna get these, and then I want to get him some like high top ones, maybe, yeah. Okay guys, I just got to the car. I couldn't really talk in the mall because it was super loud. Oh my gosh, it's extremely hot. So they really didn't have a lot of the things that I wanted to get eaten. So yeah, I actually called him on the phone and I was like, I'm buying you sneakers. What color do you want? And he said green. So luckily, which I'm surprised, they had his size in these which are actually super cute and there's green on them so I know he's gonna love that. And then I chose these for him because I know he's gonna love these as well. I think I did pretty good. They didn't really have much, ooh. They didn't really have a lot of options so I hope he likes these. I wanted to get him more. I might try another store or something tomorrow because to be honest, I'm over it. <sighs> and guys, like since I don't really wear sneakers like that, I don't really like understand. Like I'm not a sneaker head. So it was very hard for me to pick. Like I literally had to keep calling my guy friends and being like, 
is this one okay is this one cool yes no whatever don't want to have Aiden looking crazy at school we got to make sure he is fresh another thing is he wants a ps5 so definitely getting that for him but apparently which I'm like completely clueless in like this kind of stuff like I don't understand the gaming world at all so apparently with the ps5 some take digital games and some don't so I can't even buy the games for the ps5 today because I don't know which one I'm gonna end up getting for him so yeah I'm trying to think of what else I can get but Aiden's so like simple all he does is play soccer and play Fortnite. I'm thinking maybe I can go to like Dick's Sporting Goods and see if they have any like cute soccer outfits. Um, he has a billion cleats. Yeah, maybe I can go to Dick's and find him something cute for soccer. So let's head there now. I just got to Dick's, guys. Who knew shopping for an eight-year-old? Actually, he's turning nine. By the way, I don't think I said. Aiden is turning nine years old. Who knew that shopping for a nine-year-old would be so hard? I honestly think it's because he's a boy. Because girls are really easy to shop for, in my opinion. Seeing all this dolphin gear is so sad. It reminds me of some of the best years of my life. Okay, so apparently there is a soccer section in Dick's, which I didn't know that. So, oh, I found it. So we're gonna get Aiden a soccer jersey. Not that I know anything about it. Ooh, this is cute for me. Look at this mannequin, how cute. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, not that I know anything about the teams, but we're gonna get Aiden a soccer jersey. Maybe like a little set. I'm honestly so clueless. I need some help. Boys volleyball. Soccer. Oh, soccer. Inter Miami. Inter Miami. Mm -hmm. Inter -Miami? Okay, For soccer. boys. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, he said it's unisex. Oh, really? <laughs> it looks real girly. Pink. <laughs> okay, so apparently these are unisex, which to me this is extremely girly, but. We're gonna get it anyways because Aiden already has this black one for Inter Miami. So we're gonna get him a white one. If he doesn't like it, we'll return it, but they're useless. I am not feeling um, shopping for boys. I hope I have a daughter because this is not fun. It's really hard. So they used to have matching Adidas pants, but they sold out. So. This is all we're leaving with. I tried. Unfortunately, I haven't been having a successful shopping day for Aiden, but I'm sure this video is gonna be posted before it's his birthday. So if you have any gift ideas, let me know. He's gonna be nine years old and he really only loves soccer and video games. Yeah, comment down below what else I could get him. It's about 6.37 right now and I'm basically done. I don't think there's anywhere else I can go to look for a gift for Aiden. I feel like Sissy has had a long, hard day of shopping, so why not treat myself to a pedicure? Okay, that sounds peaceful and relaxing, and my feet really do hurt, although I didn't really do too much. My feet genuinely hurt. I got my nails done, but the girl that I go to does it in her house, so I don't usually get pedicures. So I think I'm just going to take myself to the salon, the local salon in this plaza, and just relax for a little bit. So, yeah, let's do that. What a nice way to end my day. I think I'm going to get like a baby blue on my toes. I always get white, but my nails are blue. So let's try something new. Guys, I have been getting gel on my feet since I was like 18 because when I used to cheer and I would dance in the boots all day long, regular paint would chip. So literally since I've been 18, I've been getting gel and I feel like if you're not getting gel, then what are you doing? It's the best.
I actually love this color a lot. I didn't think I would, but it's super cute. So guys, I just put the top down because it's not as hot and it feels actually really good outside. Also, it's the end of my vlog, so I don't care if my hair gets messed up. Also, my phone died, so I can't even play like good music. Let's we'll see what's. This will do. Don't vlog and drive. I'm a pro. so sticky at the bottom from flying onto my lip gloss but I have to say this is such a fun car I would have too much fun if I had a drop top and that's exactly why I don't oh my god there's a bug on my hair oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god hell no oh hell no it literally buzzed and like, boop. It literally landed on, like I didn't know where, but I heard it. Oh, hell no. Never mind. I changed my mind. This top gotta go up. Okay, so I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, besties, for coming shopping with me today. I honestly did not feel like I was alone, so... Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.